Hello friends, welcome. We are dealing with experiments related to operational amplifiers and linear integrated circuits. Today we will be verifying the operation of regulators. As we know a voltage regulator is a circuit that supplies a constant voltage regardless of changes in load current and input voltage. We have two types of voltage regulator ICs, one is positive and other is negative voltage regulator IC. The IC number 78 series stands for positive voltage regulators and the IC number starts with 79 series fall under the negative voltage regulator ICs. As you can see the both the ICs 7805 and 7905, the 05 stands for the output voltage. Now you can see the regulator IC has 3 pins. Pin number 1 is connected to the input, pin number 2 is grounded and pin number 3 is connected to the output side. Similarly, for negative voltage regulators that is 79 series, pin number 2 is connected to the input, the input will be negative for this regulator, pin number 1 is grounded and pin number 3 is connected to the output. Now these are the circuit diagrams using regulator 78 series and 79 series. As I told pin number 1 is connected to the input, pin number 2 is grounded and pin number 3 is connected to the output. Now we are not connecting this part for the first part, we are calculating only the line regulation. We will just change the input and we will note what is the output for that change in the input. In the next case, we will be connecting this to determine the load regulation. Now what comes to our mind when we hear the term the voltage regulator, the output remains same constant in spite of a change in voltage. Say for example, I have used an IC 7805. Now 78 stands for the positive voltage regulator and 05 stands for the output voltage. Now if you change the input voltage from 0 to 4.9, output is the same as that of input, it will change 0 to 4.9. When you go, when the input is beyond the 5 volt, output is fixed at 5 volt. So with the change in input voltage, output does not change, it is constant at 5 volt only. This will conduct and will check for the output. The regulator circuit is connected on the breadboard. We have used a 7805 IC regulator. It means it is regulating around 5 volt at the output. The input that is connected DC power source to the pin number 1 through a capacitor. The negative terminal is connected to ground. The pin number 2 is also connected to ground. Pin number 3 is connected to the multimeter to check the output. Now I will just put on the DC power supply and I will set the voltage as around 1 volt. Okay. For 1 volt output is 0. I will increase the input voltage. I will make it nearly 2 volt. Let me change the input to the 2 volt. And when we look at the output, it is around 0.27 volts. Next reading, I will make it 4 volt. For 4 volt, the output is 3.17. I 
I'll make it 6 volt for 6 volt output is 4.99 I'll increase furthermore around 8 volt output is fixed at 4.99 very near to 5 volt further increment in the input around 10 volt is the input and output is again same that is 4.99 volt so we can say that between input ranging from 1 to 5 volt output is less than 5 volt and when you go beyond 5 volt output is fixed to 5 volt and this is the conclusion that we can regulate the voltage using the IC regulators. In the next part we will be discussing about load regulation. To determine the load regulation we will connect the remaining part it is connected through switch earlier we have removed this all now we will connect this on breadboard and we will go for the load regulation of IC regulators so it is consisting of a resistor of 100 ohm an ammeter to measure the current and a potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm value The load regulation can be calculated using the formula no load voltage minus full load voltage divided by full load voltage and percentage of it. The remaining portion is also connect connected. Pin number 3 is connected to the register and through register it is connected to an ammeter and one end of ammeter is other end of ammeter is connected to the pot and potentiometer is connected to ground. Now the procedure is we will change the current value by moving the potentiometer knob and we will note down the current value, the DC value, voltage value and we will measure what is the resistance of this potentiometer to calculate the load regulation will take few readings to calculate this load regulation we are keeping the input voltage as 15 volt as you can see here now first I'll set the load current as 10 milliampere by moving this potentiometer knob I will set the current to 10 milliampere now it is exactly 10 10.1 milliampere for this I need to know what is the DC voltage and you can see on the multimeter it is 3.98 now how to measure the load resistance how to measure the load resistance take this potentiometer out of the circuit and connect it to the multimeter it will show you the value of the resistance now here we are measuring the resistance value and resistance value is 390 ohm so the input is fixed to 15 volt the DC voltage ok it is changed previously it was 3.98 it is 5 volt so I will write it as 5 volt and the resistance value we got around 390 ohm similarly we again connect that potentiometer in the circuit and we will again vary the knob to change the current we will set the current to 15 milliampere by varying the potentiometer knob
okay it is nearly around 14.5 milliampere and the voltage is again 5 volt again we will remove this potentiometer and measure the resistance value and it is nearly Two hundred and fifty three ohm. Now, using the regulation formula that is VNL minus VFL divided by VFL multiplied by hundred, we can calculate the voltage regulation. Thank you.